Hong Kong relies on immigration. It's a relatively small location as we know and it has a finite supply of local labour. With unemployment levels as well in Hong Kong being relatively low, what is it? It's about 3% at the moment. So if companies really want to expand in Hong Kong, they can't really look to the local market um, in order to meet their human capital needs. Um, let's say, for example, at the moment, what do we see? We see a large number of mainland Chinese companies setting up operations here in Hong Kong. Um, one of the reasons is due to the fact that they list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Another reason is due to the fact that they move, well, they see Hong Kong as their window to the world. Now, as they expand their operations here, they obviously need to build up their human capital. But what they need is they need people who are proficient in English, proficient in Cantonese, well, maybe not so important for them, but also proficient in Mandarin. And where are they going to get these from? They're not going to be able to get these people locally in Hong Kong. So we do see, our, amongst mainland Chinese companies, when they set up in Hong Kong, they move a large number of people from the mainland, from mainland China down into Hong Kong. So we're seeing an increase in expatriates, but it's not just Western expatriates anymore. We're seeing an increase in the number of expatriates from locations like China, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, because they all see Hong Kong as being their regional headquarters. And so I think the demographic, the type of expatriate, is changing considerably.